Hey folks, it's Lev. Welcome back to another video. For those of you who are new, I'm using pronouns. I notice my voice is like sort of hoarse sometimes and it's definitely getting deeper. I say this a lot, but it's just progressively getting deeper every time I make a video or something. Or a few weeks has passed, it just progressively becomes deeper and deeper and deeper. Like, I'm so curious to hear what it's gonna be like one year down the line. I'm almost six months and it's like this. I wonder what one year is gonna be like. Like, and acne is just everywhere. This is like, I don't like it, but I can't pick and choose what I, you know, what changes happen with testosterone. I couple, I get everything really. Before I get into the actual video, I want to share that next month is my birthday and um, it will be on officially on August 17, 2021. It will be officially one year since I started going by Lev, not changing my name to Lev legally because I did that in March of this year. It will be officially one year since I changed my name and started going by Lev. <laughs> And like when it was my birthday last year, it was like 8 months since I started living as a trans man and this year's birthday is not just gonna be any birthday, it's literally gonna mark 1 year since I started living as Liv and yeah, it's gonna be a pretty significant one in my books, it's just not like, not another ordinary birthday, not at all. And I literally invited all of my friends already, I'm like, block out this date over 1 month in advance because I want all of them to come and it's important to me as well and one of my friends like was she wrote in capital letters in response to me yes of course I will be there I'm like yes I love you seriously anyway back to the video today I wanted to talk about I guess consistency and showing up and how just like being consistent and showing up every day is what leads to results um I guess in general and what I've seen on social media, in media and the world in general is that we usually show like our successes and like all of these awesome achievements but there aren't enough stories that talk about you know the hard times, all of the failures and what it took and the amount of work put in to actually get to that point of achieving that goal or being successful in that thing. Something I didn't realize, like it didn't really click with me when I was younger, is that there are no shortcuts. Like there are no shortcuts to getting where we want to be in life and achieving and doing the things we want to do. For example, when I first watched a Taekwondo demonstration at a festival, that's what got me in. Um, I saw like people performing Taekwondo, I'm like that's so cool, I want to be able to do that. They were like doing all these flying kicks and all the, these well executed um patterns of movements and like their technique was just and like everything and i'm like that's so cool i want to do that but when i started taekwondo i had no idea how much effort work training sweat and tears it would actually take to reach a point where i was skilled enough to actually do what they did um but i got through in the end it was absolutely worth it that's i mean that's just a quick example but i will dive into other examples one example a key example of my life is actually overcoming social anxiety um so if you haven't seen my previous videos just a little bit of context i was a kid who experienced severe social anxiety um i had it for pretty much my entire life up into my early 20s which is around now like it's only been a few years since i feel like i've actually overcome it and when it when I do experience fear it's not as intense and I haven't relapsed for a few years um I've gone to a point in my life where I'm very confident and um anxiety doesn't really haunt me anymore but that's not how I started um when <sighs> more context so my anxiety was really bad like, I couldn't even go outside and say hi to someone without ruminating about everything that could go wrong and is this person gonna like me are they gonna hate me oh how are they seeing me now 
um, I share a link. My anxiety, social anxiety saw a film that I made like three years ago. That will be an ac more accurate representation of what I went through than now because I guess I've overcome it already and my I'm in a different headspace. So that film will be a more accurate description of what I went through. So I'll link it down below. I, I honestly don't remember the very tiny specific details of like my entire journey but I did go to therapy I went to a lot of therapy and had support from a therapist um, who I really clicked with and worked well with I remember her giving me like a little homework task to do I remember one task was like I mean, talk to a classmate that was like one example of a small step um, for me to take um, to you know, help overcome social I cut that previous clip too early to help overcome my social anxiety and I had other like along the journey as I grew more confident and learned how to manage um, social anxiety and had tools and changed help change my neural we neural we rewiring and learn how to like regulate um, the t intense emotions that arise especially the physiological as well like increased heart rate feeling tense um, all of that stuff is a part of it like learning how to manage my physiological response as well and my nervous system response um, as I got more confident and improved in my ability to manage the anxiety that came up I started growing and growing my comfort zone um and i the the, the little homework task progressively got um more challenging per se as i grew more confident and just started expanding out and honestly just overcoming this anxiety was a series of small steps it wasn't like one giant moment where it's just like I'm in the darkness and then I'm in the light forever like it that's not how it worked it was just a, a series of small steps a series of showing up even though it was hard just keep showing up and I did fail um it wasn't I'm not saying that I didn't fail when I showed up but I showed up anyway just keep doing what I did if, when I couldn't give say 100% on a certain day because I may be feeling a bit more a bit I may be feeling worse than other days I I still show up and do something um, that's where the consistency comes in it's like we don't have to make these giant strides um, every day I mean it's good if we experience and hit milestones and stuff but Again, with the small steps, just showing up and doing something every day. It doesn't have to be the same size per se every day. Just doing something every day, every single day. Showing up, doing something. Even if that something is, you know, something for me would be example is um, saying hi to a classmate. Just saying hi don't have to have convo just saying hi that is see it's a seemingly small step but it was a really big step for me and it it doesn't have to look the same for you in in this circumstance like it could be anything it could be I woke up today and I looked after myself by doing this thing or I tried a breathing exercise or anything it can literally be anything but just showing up and doing something small each day and it's these small I mean these seemingly small actions that end up adding up in the end and creating change that it's creating change that you didn't realize over time I should also say that it's okay if it like no, no one's journey is the same it's okay if your milestone is different from another person's milestone or your steps look different from another person's step it's like we all have um, we all live in different circumstances and we're all unique people so if not everything can be the same and that's okay and it doesn't mean that your progress is less valid than another person's progress um, 
because we're all in different circumstances and it's not fair to compare ourselves to another person because of that. They're not us living in our skin with our unique environment, our un our thoughts, our you know physiological response, our physiological, you know, neural wiring. There's so many factors that in impact the, our journey. So, yeah, what I tend to do is, you may have heard this like ten million times on the internet, but like comparing where I was to where I am currently. Even if where I am now may be worse than where I was last time, I still I still compare and be like, even though where I am right now may be worse than last time, what what have I like? I've still acquired new skills, knowledge, and strengthening my ability to cope with things and be more resilient, even though this particular downfall may be worse than the previous one. It's always like every time I fall, I get better at managing and coping with things and navigating through these difficult times, even though I may not be con even though I may consciously not be aware of it, I'm always getting better each time I fall. Before I share the second example, I do want to say that um, we don't have to wait for motivation per se to hit us. Because I found that, you know, just taking action and doing something. Like, it doesn't have to be necessarily directly related to the thing you're trying to improve on. Just taking action and doing something. And then what I found is when I start doing something, it's just, there's just a flow-on effect. I do one thing. Even if it's unrelated, I do one thing. And then I just want to do other things. It just sort of flows on like that. So... When you're feeling a bit stuck or in a rut, just take action. I recommend taking action. Even if it's something small, again, it doesn't have to be something ginormously big. Just doing something. Taking action, doing something. And you may experience this flow on effect where you just... Motivation just comes as you take action and you just want to do more and more things. Give it a go. My second example would be boxing. So I've done Taekwondo for quite a long time, but um, I, I couldn't um, since the end of 2019 because I injured my knee. I don't want to go into it, but I had an injury. So my legs were out essentially. And I found that for a few months, I didn't really do much exercise because I, I injured my knee. Taekwondo is the only thing essentially that I knew of that I loved and then I thought why don't I give boxing a go I mean I love martial arts so, and boxing is martial arts too and I don't really train with like um, hands much in Taekwondo we do learn punches blocks and a few strikes but we focus primarily on using the legs to kick whereas boxing is mostly using the hands to like strike and I started giving that a go and I started learning it and then I found that I loved it, but honestly, when I first started, my jab was horrible, my cross was horrible. I I didn't know how to duck properly. I didn't know head movement. Um, yeah, just because I just because I did taekwondo, it does not mean I know boxing because they're two completely different martial arts. Um, I was, I almost injured my wrist once because I was punching a heavy bag without wrapping my hands because I didn't really know much about boxing and I'm I actually injured it I didn't break any bones or anything but I injured my wrist and that scared me and I'm like I can't just assume I know what I'm doing and just keep doing this so what I started doing is going on YouTube and following YouTube tutorials like there are a lot a lot of free videos out there that have like guided workouts and there's also beginner guided workouts and that's what I started with I started with beginner guided workouts also at this time my punch speed was horrendous I mean it was pretty slow compared to now one year down the line it was really slow and I also got fatigued really quickly my arms got tired and ached very very quickly and my core abdomen wasn't strong because I hadn't really trained it that much and like everything was just not great the 
the, the first few months were hard. Like I popped out really, really quickly. Um, but as time went on, as as I established a routine, essentially, a habit to keep training, my everything just started improving over time. Again, this didn't happen overnight. It it it's taken months to over a year to start noticing results. Results definitely did not come right away. Um, my strength started increasing. My stamina started increasing. My cardiovascular like efficiency, you could say, um, increased. My muscles ached less. Like I had more muscular endurance as well. Like I didn't. My arms didn't get tired as quickly. Everything just started improving over time, and the more and more I trained, and the, not like I should reword that. The more time went on, and I kept being consistent with my training, everything's just getting better. Even now, my stamina is significantly. Everything is significantly improved compared to when I started. However, I do have weak spots, and I'm just gonna continue working. On it, and eventually, I'm just gonna get to a point where I look back and be like, I couldn't do this back then, but now I can. And I'm just, I just keep showing up. There are days where I, my body feels fatigued and I don't feel like training, but I still do it anyway. But I modify my training. I still, I show up for the sake of consistency, even though I do something less intense, like. For me, training doesn't have to be every single session full out high intensity interval training, pushing myself to the absolute limit. I don't do that. Um, sometimes I focus on technique and form and visualization and putting combinations together, working on my flow. There's a lot of different things I can do, and sometimes I just do boxing at a lower intensity. But the important thing is that I. Am consistent and I show up and do something, even if I don't feel like it. The a recent thing I started implementing is doing breath work every day. Like I've heard about this like for a very long time, and I never, honestly, never took it seriously. Um, like actually practicing deep breathing and making deep breaths my body's normal response per se, rather than breathing shallow. Um, and I've been doing this for like over three weeks already. Like it started, I I definitely I wanted to make this a habit, and now I have successfully made it a habit from just showing up and doing it every single day, even on days where I'm just like I cannot be bothered doing this, um, I do it anyway. And now it's a habit, so it's odd for me to not do it. Like I f I would feel uncomfortable with not doing it as opposed to doing it even if I am tired so that's like that's when I know like a habit is successfully implemented into my life and it's gonna stay here permanently is when I feel worse not doing it than doing it um yeah thanks for watching folks that's the end of the video by the way thanks for watching folks and I'll see you in the next one